We're now looking at the uh, small magnetic separator. I've hooked it up to 110 so I can make this uh, video a bit working. I'm going to press the start button here. And you can hear the fan uh, working in the uh, background. I'm going to start off by starting the roll speed. It has its own switch just for the roll. Click at the on, the light just went on. It's at zero now. And as I turn it up slowly, you see that it's starting to pick up speed. That's at the uh, maximum uh, roll speed. I've set it uh, up to uh, 100 over here. The roll uh, speed indicator doesn't seem to be working. When I click it here to the right, it should be actually indicating how many RPM, but it's not, it's, it is not working properly. Again, give you a better idea, that is the full speed. That is at 50%. Now I'm going to turn it off, and there's another vibrator control here. We'll turn that on. And I'm going to start turning it up. It's for the vib that red piece, vibrator on the chute. You can hear it working. That's at a full 100%. You can feel it vibrating. It's not an aggressive uh, uh, vibrator, but it does seem to work, or it does work. Turn it down, and even though you don't hear it, I can feel it, and it's still vibrating. Turn it back up again. Now I'll turn it down again. I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to turn the roll speed back on again. I'm going to move it again to 100%. Here we have the control for the magnetic coal, co coil current. And I'll put the indicator on for that. I'll bring it up to uh, 50%. And it seems to be at 1.550. Pretty, that's pretty close, about half. It's not 100% sure, but now I'll put it up right up to the the top that it goes, and it goes to 2.8. Um, obviously, doesn't affect the speed any, but uh, it's, uh, the uh, indicator seems to be working for that. I'll put them both on. The vibrator is also at 100%. So everything is working at full capacity now. And you can turn things off individually. And then just press stop and it turns off the whole machine.